Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Now, you can curb your enthusiasm a little bit because maybe this will be less good than usual Kirby. It's not. It's going to be great. Official artwork. That's right. Uh, Natsuro B Bonduro actually made this himself. And uh, yeah, it's very exciting art. Official. Oh, fuck. Illusion ruined. Wow, the game is still there on the screen, even during the update. I, I never would have thought. Well, you see, Bonduro plus Nobunga collaborated with Ziabaki to create the Dark Souls of Kirby games, and I believe this is the one. These American Kirby covers keep getting worse. Yeah, I mean, it went from uh, ang cute Kirby to angry Kirby to... Um, Larry David Kirby. Yeah, I've heard um, you can make folders now. Can you believe this? It took five years, but we finally have folders. What am I going to put in here? Let's, let's do... Uh, Into the Breach, Baba is You, Dicey Dungeon, Slay the Spire. Group name... Indie. Let's see how it works. I'll just check this out real quick. I can't believe it. Nintendo, why did you do this? You ruined the simplicity of the Switch with this nonsense, this utter dreck. Next, you're going to say there's, there's going to be backgrounds. Wow. Now go play more Joko uh, Jokobo. That's a nice Jokobo you made, chat member, that you want me to play Chocobo GP. All right, no more delay, Kirby. Chocobo GP needs its own folder. You know what it needs? It needs the ass folder. Only ass juice and bad games go in that folder. I'm sorry, listen. I can't play this game on anything other than Babby mode. If this was a Squeenix game, there would be vocals about Kirby riding through the solar system. And it would play through the menu on repeat. Why did they have to go so hard on these cutscenes, though? Look how good the quality of these cutscenes are for Kirby. I mean, we have an emote of that in chat right now because of that cutscene. Bandana D gets sucked in, too. So I already played the demo for this, and I loved it. And we've already seen this, but if you haven't... It's just a, a good... Kirby game done right in the third dimension. So some of this early stuff will be a little bit repeated because we're going to, you know, see the demo stuff, but I'm, ex I'm excited to see the rest of the game. Vinny, did, did you get some coffee? Uh, about two hours ago I had coffee. It's already wearing off. What time is it in New York? It's uh, 14.50. Did you put in your codes from the demo? No, I don't know how to do that. Can I even do that now?
You can't yet. Okay. I watched the Digital Foundry version uh, video on this game when they talk about the game's visuals and stuff. And um, they had a lot of positive things to say about the tech of this game. The only real... I mean, there's, there's two main issues that I've seen visually. Because this game, to me, is gorgeous for a Switch game. And even outside of the fact that it's a Switch game, it's really nice looking. It's got a nice little style. And it, it weirdly marries the, the Kirby world with the real world somehow. But there's two things. One is distant enemies go low FPS, much like Arceus. And uh, the frame rate is locked to 30, which is... I'll take a locked 30 frame rate. But of course, you know... At this point in time, how nice would it be to have that Switch too? I do like the theme of this game, too. It's got a nice, nice music. It's got a nice music so far. It's amazing how natural this game feels to jump into if you're a Kirby fan, as opposed to, like, having to learn what the series would be like in 3D. It's so intuitively natural for, for this Kirby series to just jump in and play. You instinctually kind of already know what to do, and it just works really well. But anyway, those are my only two complaints about this game visually, um, from the demo. And I don't even mind that much, because the game is still really good. And, uh, a little bit of a visual complaint is fine as long as the FPS is locked to 30. I have less issues with that than an unstable 60. But I love how they just leaned into the, like, the full concept of post-apocalyptic, wherever this is. Nintendo does this a lot, but I think it works here better than it ever has. Even better than Pikmin, in my opinion. I guess it is Earth. Welcome to Earth. Uh, question, chat, is the volume okay? Someone in chat said, yikes, this ain't looking good. I, I disagree. I think you're expecting too much from the Switch. It's a little loud. I think chat member must understand that we're playing a Kirby game on the Switch. Kirby is here. Listen, I'm used to 60 FPS Elden Ring with these glorious vistas, and I do love a nice looking game that's consistently beautiful across the board. Oh, we got a problem. Hang on a second, chat. Problem. Audio delay. I knew something was fucky. Hmm. So, XSplit still has issues with its audio. Um... I may have to download AMA Rec real quick. I'm sorry, everybody. I just noticed this, and it's, it's gonna bug the fuck out of me. Let me just grab this thing. It's the game, same thing happened to me. Alright, uh... I don't remember which version I was using. Let me just... Let me just pop that in real quick. Give me, uh... Give me... Half a minute of your time. Just so I can get this better. I know this has been an issue. Maybe the game does have a delay. But, um... Check the Switch menu to make sure the game... Yeah, let's let's check the switch menu.
There's a delay. Yeah, for sure. I hear it. I can kind of tell. All right, no problem. Let me see if I can uh, throw this into the program I use. Figure this. Better. It's not like perfect, but it's definitely better. I, I can I can appreciate uh, what this program has done. It has helped. Like, when I press the button, I actually hear the thing that I'm, I'm doing at the same time. Is the game still a little loud? Someone said, I dislike Kirby. Sorry, I dislike Carby. I enjoy Carby. The duality of chat is in full effect. We've just started, and Carby's already committing war crimes. Oh, there's vocals. <laughs> Did I know that this was going to happen? Was this in the demo? I'm sorry to make you my collective memory, but I just don't. It wasn't in the demo. Okay. Duck! song <laughs> while Kirby is is uh, commandeering a car with his skin I like the sound of the, uh, this guitar sounds great I have a weird aversion to vocals in video game songs not always but sometimes it just feels weirdly out of place. I don't know why. I think it's because I grew up with the um, NES and S Super Nintendo. And, like, I, it was weird for me to hear vocals in Metal Gear Solid. And it was weird for me to hear vocals... Um, what was the other one? So it was Metal Gear Solid and Symphony of the Night. But I feel like they were... Um, it was good because it's the ending. I don't mind vocals if they're good, like, I'll give you an example, Final Fantasy VIII, Eyes on Me. I like that version with the vocals. But then when I go into Chocobo GP and there's vocals in the menu music, that is, like, too much. My fight or flight is activated. Colors weave. I guess I don't mind. Oh no. Ear thing. Last time I played this, uh, in the demo, I said there was a new Pokémon that just dropped. Ear Squirrel.
How could they not dance? Whew, you saved me, thank you. But what about those other guys, the Waddle Dees? They were all captured and taken away. We fought those beasts as hard as we could, but they kept coming back for more. Now I'm the only one left. I have to go save them, I have to! No, not Waddle Dees nuts. What? You'll help me save everyone, that's great! So, your name is Kirby? I'm... Elphalin. Nice to meet you. Did I make a joke about how the name of that creature sounded like some kind of drug that has about 10,000 side effects? Hey, Kirby. Boy, am I glad to see you. I got pulled through that vortex over Planet Popstar, too. If you ever want a second player to join you, just let me know. I'll always be ready. Can I just play as Bandana D instead of Kirby? <laughs> Not instead of, but like, as well as. Yeah, I think this game looks nice. Oh, you can search? Oh! Okay. Well, it's a traditional world map, but also you have a little bit of freedom to roam around. It's very Mario 3D world. That weird vortex pulled me into the sky. I had no idea what was happening. I still don't. At least I found the other Waddle Dees. It looks like they arrived in this new world just before me. I was searching high and low for our friends, and then I saw an odd pink car dash by. I'm guessing that was you, huh, Kirby? That looks like quite a mouthful. Everything okay in there? Don't bite off more than you can chew. Did Bandana D, D just ask if Kirby's, like, insides were okay? Okay, Kirby was a car, that's fine. 60 FPS menus only. Okay, Nintendo, you're forgiven for all of your video game crimes over the past couple years. You made a cute new Kirby game. <laughs> I forgot all about them! Oh wait, no, I just remembered. Oh fuck, never mind. Man, the redemption arc of Nintendo really came quick. All they needed was a cute new Kirby game. This teaches the player about buttons. This teaches the player about secret areas. I feel like I just found a secret area in, uh, Tunic. Each of these cans has their own physics.
And wherever they land, you can just pick up the soda again. Why is Vending Machine Kirby so fucking overpowered? I want to take that vending machine to the final boss. Then we'll see what's up. I'm ready to play this game like I've been playing Elden Ring. Look, iframe dash. Or, uh, dodge. There's no health meter? No, there is. You just have to take damage. I think they went for the minimalist approach, where only when you need to see the thing does it show up. Otherwise, you can just enjoy the world. Another thing Digital Foundry um, pointed out is this game has dynamic resolution scaling, but it mainly sticks at 1080p for um, TV mode and 720 for handheld. The problem is, look at the frame rates on those cannonballs. That's how they, that's how they get you. Yeah, they promise you 1080p, and then you look in the distance and suddenly, then you suddenly get three FPS on cannonballs. Game is shit, zero out of 10, can't play it, can't lose merge, merge. I mean, Arceus was the worst defender of that. But even Elden Ring, I see enemies going low FPS. Just less lower. Because it's a it's designed for a different thing. But my merge has been my Merkin has been destroyed. Me? I only play Carby for graphics. Guys, I realized something. Slay the Spire does not have good graphics. I can't like it anymore. I'm weird, though. I can be a bit of a graphics snob, and then sometimes I just don't care. It depends on the game. As long as the art style and the frame rates are consistent, I'm usually good. But, uh, if I paid for a nice PC, and I play a nice PC game, and it runs like shit, I start, like, breaking out in a cold sweat. I don't... I can't help it. Ponby. Do you think Kirby drank the blood of some people? Okay, Kirby, listen. I'm gonna sell you this product. You know that when you eat lots of different things, you get indigestion. That's why I'm going to sell you Traffic Cone. That's right, Traffic Cone is the best. It'll open you nice and wide at the bottom, so whenever there's a little indigestion, you will have no problem expelling the goods. Trust me on this, Kirby. You're gonna want Traffic Cone. But I also have another product for you. Oven Window. What is it? Why do you need it? Oven Window. Some people missed my stream last night, I guess. It, listen, it would make a whole lot more sense if you watched the tabletop sim last night. Wild Edge. Have you ever wild edged yourself? Magic users in Elden Ring. I say, being a half-magic user. No, listen. 
we have to talk about Kirby difficulty. First, I need to lower the game a little bit, because I feel myself shouting. And I don't want to. Shout. Shout. Let it all out. So Kirby games are traditionally, I think most of us would know that most Kirby games are not going to test all of your skills. And you're going to have a pretty decent time through most of it. Especially the early levels, baby. But, as I've discovered, in most of the later Kirby games, there's a lot of stuff that reminds me of the Mario games, where you finish the game, or you get to the end, and then suddenly there's a sharp difficulty spike for a lot of the extra stuff. There's, um, I think it was Star Allies. I just gave up. So t sometimes that happens. But, yeah, no, these are not the most difficult games. These are... I, I like to... When I play Kirby games, I like to collect, fly, and chill. And I think that's okay. I don't think every game needs to have ball-blistering difficulty. I like that, too. I mean... Uh, Margit in Elden Ring took me an hour, and when I was done, I was sweaty. Literally and figuratively, and I had a great time dying over and over and over again. But there are some games I like to play that are just more relaxing. Put these foolish ambitions to rest, Kirby. Also, that Tunic game, if you haven't seen me, um, I streamed it the other day. Tunic, the game that looks like Zelda, but it stars a fox with a tunic and a sword. That is a Souls-like. <laughs> that game does not fuck around. So, sometimes you expect Babby, and then you get difficult game, and it's like, wait a minute, why did this game need to be like this? But, uh, I actually think Tunic is fantastic, and I'm looking forward to playing more of it. It died. It... Where'd it, where'd it go? It, it's, is it... is it dead? Bye! I, for one, am glad it's dead. Also, uh, for those wondering, the cover of this game is not, in fact, Angry Kirby. Kirby just looks inquisitive about the distance. Yeah, American Kirby has been destroyed by this game's cover. Turtle Pope destroyed. Enemy felled. I got all the secrets. I read that in the demo. This logo belonged to an auto shop named Hotline Custom Autos. Uh, sorry, Holine. Part of Holine Corps. Holine also sold industrial parts, managed construction, and all kinds of stuff. 
From buildings to streets to amusement park rides, remember, if it's quality, it's whole line. Or perhaps it was would be more accurate. Irby. A mystical new friend you met in a mysterious new world. You found Elflin as he was trying to save the Waddle Dees from the Beast Pack. He seems happy to be Kirby's guide, sharing helpful advice to save the Waddle Dees and rebuild their town. Thanks, Elphalyn! I'm calling it now. Elphalyn is the, the final boss of this game. There's 79 of these things. Damn. Look, they're already rebuilding. I like this mechanic. Saving the Waddle Dee so they can rebuild the town. Put him to work. Waddle D Cinema is now open. Rewatch some memorable scenes on the big screen. Can I watch Spider Man in there? If you want a second player to join, just call. Okay, no. I just knocked that Waddle D, Waddle D unconscious. Arrival point. Welcome to Waddle D Cinema. You can watch all kinds of movies here. If you're wondering why we built the cinema so soon, well, it's because entertainment is important, not food. Which movie would you like to watch, Kirby? I want to watch Spider Man. Do you have any adult films? Sixty required for this building. Fifty for that. Uh, when do you unlock the underground meth lab underneath the laundromat? One hundred percent. Kirby, we need to cook. I I'm so happy that um, Better Call Saul also focuses on Gus. And, like, you get more story with Mike and Gus. I, that is... When uh, Giancarlo Esposito became, like, a major um, character in that show, I was like, right. I want to see more of this dude. Airman Trout. It means strong world, Michael. Is that what he said it meant? Strong world or something? What'd you think about El Camino? It was... I already kind of discussed it, but it was... it was okay. I thought it was okay.
There is no spring ability. Yeah, I, I thought it was fine. It just felt a little extra fan servicey, and uh, it it didn't really blow me away. It was just nice to give a little closure to one of the characters, but. I've said it before, but it was so much better than The Many Saints of Newark, The Sopranos movie. But I don't really think... Yeah, it was... It, for, for me, it was fine. It was just fine. saved. What other games do you save living creatures? Wasn't, um, the Sprixies? What was that, Mario 3D World? Rayman, Sonic. Paper Mario on the Switch. Oh yeah, yep. Like, living collectibles, like the, the Toad Paper. Brixies are from 3D World. Okay, yeah. I heard the uh, new Chrono Cross music. They uh, Square uploaded some of it. It's like new instrumentation and arrange not arrangements, but well, yeah, I guess so. Um, different samples for some of the Chrono Cross stuff. Done by Mitsuda himself. Uh... Eh... Didn't love it. I didn't listen to all of it all the way through, but some of the samples sound a little weird, and it got... Maybe it's because I'm so used to... what Chrono Cross is and has been for 20 years. And I just need to give it a shot. And I will. But what I heard didn't really blow me away. I just... I don't know. Um, it could be just nostalgia. So I'll, I'll let you know upon further listening. But they did upload some of the music. I'm curious to see what the Radical Dreamers soundtrack sounds like with Mitsuda's new, um, new toys. Oh my god. I blinded a green star? I did. Ninety-nine percent of the time new arrangements for old games suck. You know what? Trials of Mana had some good had some good stuff. In some cases, I like the Trials of Mana new soundtrack more than the old one. And I'm wondering if Live Alive is going to have a similar thing. I've discovered that the remaster of Chrono Cross, you can turn off the new models, you can turn off the new music, you can turn off the background filtering, you can turn off, I think, most things except maybe the, like, the text. But, it seems like it's pretty much up to you how you want to play the game, which is good. Options are good, like, you can go full nostalgia run, or you can try the new stuff. I'm just really hoping that those backgrounds were AI upscaled, and also that they took a look at them and maybe redid some by hand. Vinny, do you think it's weird that Kirby only has 12 abilities in this game? Well, I didn't know there were only 12, but considering it's a new style of Kirby game, and you can upgrade each ability, I don't mind so much. I feel like if they do a Forgotten Land 2, then we would probably end up getting back to like 20 abilities.
ban that guy. I don't know, I feel like maybe that was a little bit of a juicy comment intended to provoke. Like, yeah, game kind of sucks, don't you? Don't you agree? It's a little, little plumpy of a comment, even maybe. But no, I mean, there's upgrades for each one. I think two upgrades per, so it seems like there's a decent variety accounting for that as well. I have a question for anyone who's played this. Did I miss one lantern already? Is it ahead or is it be is it behind? I missed one at the start. <sighs> I guess we'll never get the true ending now. stairs. What do you mean stairs? No! Look at Kirby's face! I'm okay. <laughs> I was like, what do you do with these? You can't- you are the stairs. You can't climb them. Now I know. That's so good. How is Kirby even walking? Those feats is so small. And then you can use the stairs. Oh, I see, I see. flattening wonderfully cute animal friends. Just flattening them. Just fucking destroying them. Why do you do this, Kirby? Maybe you're not the hero. Remove the wanted poster? Kirby anti-hero confirmed. Because it spits. It's, it spits, everybody. I get it. Oh, don't worry, Link. I don't spit. No! Oh, why did I say that? Fuck!
Anyway, as I was saying, it's cool that you get to use the stairs in this nice Kirby game. Why does Witch Time activate? Yep, just missing one challenge. That's magnificent. I've received another email about Raid Shadow Legends. keeps happening. The Lightron Works Company was a massive corporation that invested in research and development within all kinds of fields, electro, bio, astro, and more. Lightron eventually split up, giving rise to many rival companies and countless heated corporate battles. This is interesting lore we're getting here. I get emails like, Dear Jonathan, please check out this cool new mobile game we would like for you to promote. Now you may wonder why they call me Jonathan, because Dorb's name is that. And they think sometimes that I am, I am he. Then again, I've gotten emails that were meant for limes, and vice versa, so I mean... Clearly these- these companies- we- we ha Dear Limes, Alicious, we love your work. So much that we have done research to find out that you are in fact a streamer named Vinny. So we're going to email you and get you for this Raid Shadow Legend. Oh, I get it. Should I just restart this? Yeah, I'm gonna restart this. It's like bomb chew bowling, but not as annoying. That's got to be a new record. I fell short of the target time. Do you get another thing if you complete the target time? No. You get money? Mm. There's a good echo in the Bunnyman song called The Cutter. It was about Kirby. Back in the 80s. They knew. Before Kirby was ever even invented.
good. Yep, just get stunlocked into a wall, Kirby. Very smart. Ruined. 45 seconds is gonna be the target time. I, I fucking know it. Oh no, I got it. I got it. It's a minute. Kababi. Let's see if the Waddle Dees have made any progress. Well, still only a movie theater. But they're working. Time to burn the whole thing down, and then smile. Wow, that Waddle Dee is still on fire. Can you believe it? Oh well. Oh, look at that! Vending machine shoot. One thousand soda cans. What do you mean, Vending Machine Kirby can't fly? Yeah, that's good. Spikes wouldn't hurt Bending Machine Kirby. I wonder if there's a frozen gun in the vending machine. Someone said, here's hoping there's Walmart DLC. The ruins of an abandoned Walmart. I just want a Kirby YouTube channel where he goes to abandoned malls and buildings, films, and eats all the objects.
combo. Sick. Yes. Right, here we go. New level. More new levels. Post-demo levels. We're in a post-demo world and have been for some time now. They have Kirby burning grass physics. It's amazing. Whoa, gun? Gun Kirby! Mental. Is, is there a way to see what your abilities, like, moves are? Like in previous Kirby games, where you could press the button? Eat snacks off of three tree stumps. Or... Katamari Kerbisi. No, I said, no, 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 I didn't say Kerbussy, I said, like, Damacy, but the word Kirby. No, 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 no. You're, you're mistaken, chat. No, that's on the hit, the fifth floor, the hidden fifth floor. Next Smash Brothers game, whenever that is, please give Kirby a gun. It's very in character for Kirby to shoot stars while the enemy shoots bullets.
game is good. Yeah, I don't know. Just doing a little target practice. I guess Kirby considers milk a snack. Sonic moment. No. No. I thought that would still be there. They're very generous with the falling in pit. Oh, you lose money? I guess that makes more sense than having a life system. Because otherwise you could just buy lives, maybe, but this cuts out the middleman and you just, you know, just lose money instead. Waddle D and Glizzy. Can't believe I'm calling these fucking things Glizzies now. God damn it. God damn it. Carby wasn't just a one-time thing. <laughs> oh no! Slow the fuck down, man. The game will actually slow you down for yourself. If you fall off a cliff several times in a row, it will actually, like, stop you for a second, so you have to, like, take a minute to think about what you've done to poor Kirby. Glass steel windows, I guess. Transparent aluminum! What was Rev's um, regret eraser, or what was it? from last night it was the sh the shame eraser yeah we that's what the game like once you fall in a pit that many times you wish you had one of those i'm still missing one secret oh man Vinny, you failed it? Not falling off the ledge was the secret. May I interest you in a cloud poster? Drive without falling off the ledge, right? Copy that. Big Kabu. Lantern switch.
<laughs> liminal space mall time. No, not yet, not yet. We have fire treasure. Please save that poor Waddle D. No, that I'm sorry to say, but long after this game is complete, that Waddle D will linger forever in this abandoned wasteland of death and sadness. Starving to death in a cage. Now that'll make you, like, really want to save Waddle Dees. If they gave you that part of the story, like what happens to them if you don't save them. Just don't think about it. That's all. Don't think about what happens to poor Waddle Dee. Stuck in a cage, like a rat in a cage. Despite all his rage. I'm stuck in a small box! Kirby! This is me, Waddle D. I'm in a little box. Can you get me out of this little box? Please help. Kirby. Kirby. Did you hear that, like, jazz piano chord? Every now and then, it, it like, you know, when you're on the world map, there's like jazz piano chord, a aka the wrong note. <laughs> now you'll hear it. It's just a little spicy. That's all. It's a spicy chord. You'll you'll hear it in a second. Wow, good, good. Why isn't there gyro aiming? Fuck! Oh my god. Definitely not getting the bonus money on this one. Call Beato what made that chord great. Hello, yes, Beato. It is it is I. Viato. What makes this chord great? Biato speaking to Bignato. Listen for it. That. It's not the wrong chord. It's not like... It's just a little jazz. It goes up. It like kind of like glissandos into the proper... note. Just a spicy note. I appreciate a little spicy note. I don't even know if glissando is the right term for that. But I appreciate a spicy note where everything's just so perfect and you can just program it to be totally perfect. And like, if you're gonna add a little jazz to it, I'm, I'm, I'm all for that. Kirby in an abandoned mall. Is this my dream game? If you continue picking up objects, you go- you get faster. But if you don't, then you get slow and you can't continue. 
So it's like a little mini Katamari moment. Yeah, to me, this game is like the best parts of Kirby 64. Not with the item combining. That would be awesome if this game had item combining like that game. They should bring that back. Eat four donuts is a challenge. But, um... Just all the, the cool settings of Kirby 64, like the, uh... The abandoned Earth post-apocalyptic areas, the factory, etc, etc. I like that stuff. This game is just all that. <laughs> I love this remix. This is so good. So, my first Kirby game was the first one on Game Boy, when he was a little white ghost. And, uh, I loved that game, but I didn't know for years that Kirby was evolving into a character that could, like, suck enemy abilities. Oh. What is that? So, years later, I rented Kirby's Adventure on the NES, and I was like, wait, why can Kirby use the sword? Why doesn't my Kirby game do this? So, it wasn't until Kirby Superstar that I really... And I didn't even own Kirby Superstar, I rented it a lot. But it wasn't until then that I, like, really dug into a Kirby game where you could use different abilities. Wait, is this the secret area, or is this? At... Burger? Yeah, there's Burger. I guess we'll go to the, down the Burger path. I just want to see if I missed anything. Maybe there was a hidden donut. Why does Kirby need this many burgers? This many burgers? Kirby? I guess if you want to devour galaxies, you're gonna need your protein, yeah.
Don't say he thick, chat. For two reasons. Two very good reasons that I'm not going to elaborate upon. Anyway, it's time for ice skating. That, uh, monstrosity American Dream Mall has an ice skating rink inside of it, as well as a skiing slope, as well as several mini golf courses, as well as Shrek's underwear. There's a Nickelodeon theme park with roller coasters indoors. There's a water park. There's a couple other things. There's escape rooms. It is the most insane shit. And it's doing really, really good business now, even though Defunct Land covered it. Was I supposed to... Well, it's, um... It's a mall in East Rutherford, New Jersey. It's essentially the fucking most massive mall I've ever been in. And it was, um... It was built over, like, almost 20 years it took. And it was just this, like, eyesore for years and years. And then finally it opened, and now it's, like, running at a pretty decent capacity. There's still so many stores that haven't opened, but it is, in its current form, wildly impressive. I will say that. It is definitely a tribute to humankind's hubris. But... It's also very liminal. There's a couple areas in that mall that are extremely, extremely liminal looking. But... I have to say, they managed to make it work. Oh no. Oh, okay. I thought that... I thought you were... It's a trick to get you to visit... New Jersey. Well, when I say liminal, I mean, okay, there's a particular hallway with optical illusion faces and, like, just strange curves and corners and, like, big, weird faces. And, uh, when that area is empty, it is totally liminal feeling. I know I have a picture of the liminal faces. I'll, I'll show you at some point, but uh, it, it's really weird. And then the other problem is you get tired walking through the mall <laughs> because there's so much of it. And like, you can be in there for two hours and still discover more. So yeah, it's a little bit of a nightmare, but it's also... It, it's very impressive. I will say it is a very impressive mall. So there's ice cream. That's all we know, is ice cream. Oh. So, between- okay, so, ice cream and cake. We go left. Checking for hidden donuts. Don't don't mind me. I know where I have to go. Is there any donuts up here? There's probably stuff in the side rooms we passed. Uh. Any chat members confirm this, or deny this? No? Someone wrote, no, and someone said there isn't, so I'm gonna believe the chat member who... They seem to know what they're talking about, which is really Wi-Fi of them. Third donut. There should be... If we're lucky, we'll find the last donut, and I haven't passed it. I've been 
trying to be... Uh, keep my eyes open and be a little bit more careful about not missing... Do donuts. They're just... they're just walking. Is the poppy bro going to try to kill them? No, I am. I want to keep this ability, because you never know. You never know. <laughs> I was like, what do I do to get those screws off? I missed the donut, didn't I? Wait, not necessarily. No, 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 no. I am the pull-out king. The little light on Kirby's Explorer gun hat actually, like, creates light. Touch. I'm still missing one hidden objective. Is it too late? I would imagine chat knows. Chat, tell me, or I'm gonna have Kirby shoot you. It's too late? Alright, well, Kirby shoots you anyway. Navigate the mall without getting lost. <laughs> I, I get it. So, you have to not go down a wrong path. At all. You have to follow the signs. Hold down the button to aim and throw. Got it? Hold, aim, throw. Throw, hit, boom. You can run and throw them too, or roll them ahead of you to get an explosive strike. Bouncy. The name of that mall, Alival? Alival Mall? Well, that's a unique way to lock a boss. It's just a big fucking rock wall that you need a ton of Waddle Dees to, like, punch. <laughs> it's not like, oh, you need the power of the 15 crystals to open the way. No, it's just throw Waddle Dees at it like Pikmin. Alright, time to skate. Oh, okay. That's fucked. Hooray! I want to visit uh, the town. 
We have 36. I actually don't think this is enough for the uh, town to have been built yet. I think the first milestone is 50. Kirby, you, you remind me of myself when I was younger, Choom. There's no need to finish that. M minus the impressive... I don't know. I wish I didn't read that. I wish I didn't begin that line of thought. Minus any cock. Still regret that. Anyway, this was in the demo. Hey, this is still 155% less disgusting than last night's stream, and I'm not blaming anybody but myself. I could have put a stop to all of it. What was Mike's pipe butter? Yes, I see people are, are still quite confused about what happened in last night's stream. Listen, we were, t we were playing Tabletop Simulator with Rev and Dave and Pipe Butter, you know, was brought up in conversation. It was just casual conversation. Don't worry about it too much. Like, put it out of your mind like that one Model D stuck in that mall forever. Let me just check the map here. Where are we going? Ah, uh, yes. Game could use a little bit of anti-aliasing, but again, until Switch Pro 2 or Switch 2 or Switch... Switch 2 Bro... 2 Bros. I don't know. Unless that happens, I don't think we're gonna see any... I think... This is one of the nicer looking Switch games. at a nice resolution with some good post-processing. What kind of sick bastard wears a necklace of living things? Oh wait, real humans do that. Have you ever seen the, the necklaces with the little like, fish in them. There's one with, like, little turtles. I'm sorry I even brought that up. Jesus. Yeah, but, uh, not to ruin the mood too much, but yeah, that's a, a thing. Discovery with this. 
When you're in witch time, you do more attacks. When you, when you do the slow motion dodge, and you press the button, you shoot like three at a time. It's both the Flurry Rush from Breath of the Wild and Bayonetta Witch Time. I love it. Slip through Goromondo's legs. Oh. There's that many hidden objectives for this? There's still a Waddle Dee right now between Gorimondo's legs. Because Kirby didn't save him. Because Kirby didn't go between there. I can't believe it. They don't call him Slippin' Kirby for no reason. Gotcha machine. Wow. Hang on one second, everybody. No. Chat. Phone. This place has gotten much livelier now that the townsfolk are finding their way back. The other Waddle Dees said they really appreciate your help, Kirby. I'm always ready to help, too, if you need a second player. Please, I'm bored. Kirby, I want to- I want to kill. Let me kill. I have a spear. I already like this music. I'm gonna visit the machine just to hear the music. I like those chords. What a, what a nice progression that is. I need this song for a BRB. This is gonna be like, um, you know what? For like my artistic things when I do... <laughs> when I, when I draw stuff. This works for that. Any creative exercise music, this should be added to that playlist. Kirby gained the mysterious mouthful mode ability after he flew through the vortex. Now he can use... Sorry, now he can stuff an entire cone into his mouth. Use your pointy head to jab below you and bust open cracks in the ground or pipes. You're out of control, Kirby! Alival Mall sign. This was the logo for the Alival Mall, owned by Alival Holding Company. Making life even livelier was their corporate slogan. They ran a wide range of businesses, entertainment, arenas, food shops, service industries. Now the remains of those businesses can be found in all kinds of places. Empty and alone. Alivent. Ouch! Ouch! Careful with those spikes! Jab enemies in place or pick them up by rolling around. Nab a whole bunch of them together, then launch them off all at once. Pow! Yeah, launching them off. That's what they call it these days. Car Mouth Kirby. Kirby gained the mysterious mouthful mode ability after he went through the vortex. Now he can stuff an entire car into his mouth. When he does, he turns into a peppy pink car that can jump and use Turbo Dash. It's a nice day for a scenic drive. Turn up the radio. Tort... Tilding. That's the best we could name this. Tort Tilding. Wow, Tort Tilding shell is a whole building. This bag, uh, this big baddie 
must be some kind of boss for the smaller beasts. It enjoys basking in the sun, so it climbs to high spots and claims the whole area as its territory. It must take a long time for this critter to get up there. Melon. Only one star for Melon. Poor Melon. Tangerine as well. I need to stop doing this, but I can't. I'm getting duplicates already. Dome mouth Kirby. Kirby gained the, you know, the, uh, yeah. Now he can stuff an entire dome into his mouth. Wrap around one of these, then twist until it pops open. Think there's anything good inside? Only one way to find out. It's kind of amazing how easy it is to turn anything into an innuendo. One more. Just one more. One more new one. Here we go. Behold. It's Buffahorn. Uh, the brutal, brutish Buffahorn. Weak attacks won't stand a chance against this critter's forward tackle. Good thing they have a hard time stopping. If you're careful, you can trick them into running off cliffs. They'll be okay down there. They're real tough. But what about when Kirby actually murders one? They're, they're probably not okay after that. This is just volume one. Oh, look, Waddle Dee's weapon shop is open. Looks like a quick way to grab copy abilities. I also heard the Waddle Dee inside knows a secret to growing stronger. Let's pay him a visit. Welcome to Waddle Dee's weapon shop. I work with all types of copy abilities. It's kind of my thing. Any copy ability you find out there will become available in here. Pop in and grab one anytime. Oh, and guess what else? I can help you evolve those abilities to make them much stronger. This blueprint contains some incredible techniques. We can use it to evolve your abilities. Let's try evolving one right now. Already my tools. The cutter ability can now be evolved into Chakram Cutter. Thanks for waiting. The fire ability can now be evolved into Volcano Fire. You need star coins and rare stones. You can find rare stones and treasure roads. Prepped everything in advance this time, so... We're all set. So... Power 1, Rapid Fire 2, going to... Rapid Fire 3 and a half. Hi. Kirby, do you ever say bye? Or only high. Success. All done. The cutter ability has evolved into Chakram Cutter. If you find more blueprints, just bring them to me. I'll use them to evolve your abilities even further. Who would voice Kirby in the upcoming Mario movie? Harvey Firestein? Oh my god! Mario, you wouldn't believe it! Volcano unlocked. When the fuse is lit, hop in the cannon, press L or R to crouch, that'll speed up the fuse. Oh. God damn it. Stop your attack mid-air and charge it up. Hold down after you throw. Huh. 
There's a training area. You can change off auto copy on enemies in the settings, huh? Is this Sackby? Oh, it's Mr. Sandbag. It's Sackboy, but Kirby. Another one? And I wanted- I honestly was hoping Mr. Sackboy was dead. Industrial Water Beach. Sweet success. Invincible Rampage. You did it, Kirby. I'm proud of you. You ate candy. It, was it a candy leg, perhaps? Alright. Let's check out a couple of these levels. Looks nice. Maybe I need a real vacation. Because <laughs> I'm looking at this and I'm like, hmm. It's beautiful. The water is nice. Nah, I'll just keep going to Wildwood, New Jersey. Yeah, that's, that's much better than a real vacation. Kirby has grown an inner tube. Oh, wow. Invincible. Mm. 
wild bonkers. Do you have an ability I haven't seen? Oh yeah, hammer. Why? Of course. Oh cool, a unique and interesting new life form on this cool planet. Let's bonk it. That is a very good sound effect for bonking. I do like that you can hear the Waddle Dees, so you know generally where they are. I wonder how they foleyed that sound. for the bonk sound. I hear they smacked a large ham. It's nice. Apply baseball bat to ham. Receive sound effect. Add it to the stock library. I bet Nintendo's sound effect stock library is fucking massive. Like, I know they reuse some sounds here and there, for sure. Like, certain video games have the same, like, signature sound effects, but they still have to do new Foley each time. But, my god, could you imagine getting access to that sound library? How many unused hi do you think Link actually has? Such a good smack sound. Ah! Secret behind the waterfall? No. Nice looking water. What if I told you a game's quality is directly proportionate to its water graphics? Skyrim? Yeah, Skyrim's water graphics kind of suck. What does that say about Skyrim? Sorry, this rule is absolute. 
and only a Sith deals in absolutes. You know what? I'm sure there are several games that have been praised for their water graphics that were absolute fucking clunkers. I just can't think of any at the moment. And sadly, good games can have bad water. So, never mind. Wait, what the What the fuck? <laughs> wow, that's, uh... Oh, oh, you can kill them with the boat. That is very, very cool. Oh no, that was the end of the level? Oh no, I just got to the point! Ah! I didn't crack the nuts open. I'm gonna have to do that level again. Not now, but at some point. Bolted storage mouth Kirby. Kirby gained up uh, right. This one won't budge. Wiggle, 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 and whoa! He just took a whole chunk out of that wall down. Use this to find hidden roots you didn't know about. Bandana Waddle D was pulled through the vortex along with Kirby. When he heard that his fellow Waddle Ds were being captured by a beast pack, he grabbed his trusty spear and ran to help. He can join you as P2 while you explore the new world. Still want to redo that level. Missed too much. Onions? Are these bunions? They're pomegranates. There is someone that I knew that would call them pomegranates without fail. But that was in in his in his mind it was a pomegranate. You couldn't say it was a pomegranate. It was it was pomegranate. You know, we were just a, a fruit, really. I mean, when I me pomegranate was in the Beatles, we was. We was writing all kinds of stuff, really. You know, me and John Lemon, George Apricot, Ringo Starfruit. how you can slow down time, but the timer stays consistently just going.
I mean, I could have one-cycled him. Kirby, where should we go next? Next level. Concrete Islands. Kirby's a trooper for flying this far without like getting too tired while holding a giant hammer. I'm assuming I already missed something because that beach ball seemed oddly suspicious. I still hear the music skipping once in a while. I mean, that's the problem with El Garbo capture cards. It's either delayed sound, or you have to run it through a separate program and it skips once in a while. There is a mole ability. What the hell? It's like Mario Galaxy 2. Is this a brand new ability that has never been seen before in a Kirby game? Oh, and you can even kind of fly through the air a little bit. They mentioned it in the trailer as new. That's cool. I mean, it could have worked in 2D, but maybe it's even cooler in 3D. You get a lot of airtime with it. I mean, it's called the drill ability, but you know, it's a mole suit. <laughs> you know about the mole people, chat? Have we talked about the mole people? The people that live under the subways in the abandoned subways of, of Manhattan? They've evolved to look like moles and see well in the dark because they've been down there long enough to have adapted. I'm just making that up. They look like that one person from the PlayStation ad from the commercial stream a couple months back. Oh, 
Oh no. It doesn't matter. Rock, wood, steel, whatever. Kirby's gonna go through it. Hey, you want some Kirby enlargement pills? Bird is that? It's not a seagull. Greet three seabirds. Bad luck! Kill one! It is a seagull. It didn't it didn't look it was it wasn't eating trash. That's my only qualifier for why I didn't think it was a seagull. I have, uh, hang on a minute, I have a, a phone thing. No, it was, it was fine. It's just, when I stream early, sometimes the phone, you know, the phone goes off because people are like, oh, there's no way anyone will be streaming early. Oh, fuck. There's no more. I did. I want more seabirds. <laughs> Dear God. flat now. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's gone. Did I miss a hidden Waddle Dee? This game has a lot of hidden stuff. Why you fall? Kirby, why you fall? It's in the first area? Oh, okay. I'm bad at finding hidden things in this game. I've missed so much already. Koibi's got his white goggles. Make landfall on the Isle of Treasure. God damn, there's a lot of stuff. Hang 
a second. If your health is low, just eat a Maxim tomato to fully heal yourself. They're packed with nutrients. Did these fall through the same vortex as Kirby and his friends, or were they in the new world already? It's hard to tell, but everyone seems to enjoy them, even the beast pack. Bernard. This uppity pup, oh, it's a Saint Bernard, is an expert, expert marksman pew pew who's quick on his feet as he patrols the new world. His eyes are hidden under his hat. But that doesn't seem to affect his aim. He also has an impressive sniffer that can track prey far or near. Near or far. Hooray! I'm just missing Waddle Dee's left and right. I just feel bad for them, not even me. I'll do one more and then head back to the town, and then that'll be it for me today. Okay, I'm gonna make it a point to not miss a single thing. Goal. In this level. Plenty of hidden challenges. One of them has to be that. Remove three wanted posters. Someone said streams five hours of Elden Ring. Then you go play Kirby for five hours. Fine, I will, says the chat member, of course. Well, I actually have to, like, go do stuff. But Elden Ring, I start at, like, <laughs> 10, 30, 11 sometimes. And even then, I usually do about three hours at a time. Not that I need to explain myself, but just so you know. Yam hours? No, no, no. 10, 30, 11 a.m. Elden Ring is one of those rare examples of a game, though, for me, that I don't even realize how long I've been playing it until I look over at the time. It's like, oh, well, let me just do this one next area. Oh, wait, 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 I didn't get this. Oh, there's a sword over there. Okay, wait, 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 wait. there's something in the distance. Okay, I'm gonna go to that thing in the distance, but wait a minute. Wait a minute, there's four other things on the way there that I need to get. Clutter needle blueprint. Okay. Lots of, yeah, if the open world game is good enough, and is just fun to play, I tend to get lost in them, and their worlds are interesting enough. But yeah, most games I can really only stomach like two to two and a half hours at a time. And this game is really good. Like, I'm enjoying the hell out of this, but at the same time, I do actually have to... I have a friend in town who moved to Australia. And he is in town, and we got pizza last week, and uh, today we're going to get soup dumplings. Uh, a couple of my friends, and, and he and myself. Very exciting. I haven't had these soup dumplings in probably five years. Chai, is this a goose or a duck? What is this thing? Or is it a swan? What is it? Is it, is it a waterfowl? Is it a heron? It's, it might be a swan. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a ballerina. So, swan lake. I get it.
Tornado. Oh, no shit. Chad, I haven't missed any wanted posters, have I? Here's one. Kirby, go quicker. Go go more fastly. Please. This is the first main game Tornado has been in since Return to Dreamland. Oh, I didn't know that. Because I, I know Tornado's been in the game, but I just didn't remember which one. That was the Wii one. Yeah, that was good, but it's not as good as Return to Oz. There was a Wizard of Oz sequel in the 80s that took the concept and it was a very dark interpretation and it had some really horrific looking weird creatures on wheels and other just it was like kind of one of those weird 80s kids movies that was also horrifying it had a secret fifth floor as well yeah which i thought was a bit unnecessary but you know i'm not who am i to step on artistic vision Those guys were in the books. Yeah, yeah. So apparently they just did a little bit of a darker... It's a sequel to the Wizard of Oz movie, but it's also... It's the books. So... They just interpreted some of the stuff darker than the first movie did. Even though the Wizard of Oz movie... When I was a kid, I watched that movie. The original. It had some scary moments. Like, there was definitely some stuff in there that was like a little... It's a little scary to me as a kid. Oh yeah, the flying monkeys, the witch in and of itself. Like, yeah, there was some stuff. Whoa, what the hell is going on here? The controls aren't reversed. Gotta be honest, I, I do like a reversed control for anything flying. You can swap. It's an easy swap. Thank you, Nintendo, for giving me the easy swap. Challenge. Don't take a single hit while... Oh, I pressed the button to swap by accident, and now I'm all fucked up. Oh, God damn it! This is going to take too long. I was going to try to restart the section. It's just going to take too goddamn long. Never mind. Fuck. Oh, well. I'm just going to have to deal with the fact that I never will get all the Waddle Dees. And they will likely starve to death.
Thank you, game. Okay, my controls are good now. I feel confident that I can do this. I don't even know if there's a challenge here. But I haven't had a new Pilot Wings game in a while, so fuck it, we'll do this. I will say this game is very variotous. Which is, to me, a big strength of the Kirby games. Also, that's a real word. I thought I made it up. Apparently it's real. Yes, quite. Quite right, old bean. Old chap. Maybe it was don't take a single hit in that se segment. Oh, well. Some, uh, someone said, no, it ain't, in regards to me saying that varietous is a real word. Here. Uh, also, I love the use of the word ain't. Variatus. It's... It's a type of fish. Everybody. Species X Varietus. Told ya. <clears throat> yep, that's a... Uh, a fish, Platybosilus, related to the common platy, often kept in the tropical aquarium. And then Varietus on Wiktionary, V-A-R-I-A-T-U-S, it says here, Diversified, Variegated, Transformed, etc. Declension. Yes, exactly, Declension. Thank you. Yep. That, that is quite declentious, that word. So, what's the last challenge? What did I miss? Might have been no hit. Too late now, man. Freeze Florina with an ice ability. Oh, okay. So you have to just do the level with ice ability, or perhaps do the entire level over again with ice ab ability from the start. Oh, all right. I mean, even the old Kirby games, there were times there was, like, an ability required that was not in that level. And if you wanted to get the secret... Which, by the way, in the early days, the secrets were far less meaningful. It was, like, a good maximum, maximum tomato, and that was pretty much it. But back when... Back in my day, on the NES... It wasn't about the reward, it was about just seeing the secret. That's all that was needed. 
Waddle deliveries. And Kirby's house. It's your home away from home. They built me a house. Waddle D Cafe. I'll do that next time. But you can play a mini game here. The needle ability can now be evolved. I know this music. Look at that. It's a little Kirby museum. Yeah, I guess I'll buy that now. I didn't even know these games existed. Whoa, that was a good voice crack. It lasted several words. Mm. Wow. Speaking of Kirby Squeak Squad. I think I was aware of these games. They're cheaper than the normal Kirby games, aren't they? It's only the games that you could still buy. Kind of. Yeah, there's the 3DS ones. Played that. Scrolling 3D action game. Did not know about this one. Sub game from Kirby Planet Robobot. Newly added features. I think I'm aware of that. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of stuff. Robobot, great game. Rainbow Curse. Didn't play it, but I, I know what it is. Fighters Deluxe. Yeah, they did a lot of sub-games, didn't they? Didn't play this. And Triple Deluxe. Hmm. <laughs> okay, thank you for the sleep feature. <laughs> like that. That's good. Kirby needs a rest once in a while. You can grab a bite here to recover your health. We saw all kinds of tasty treats. You can order it and take it on the go. Also, you can uh, carry one stock item at a time. Car mouth cake. Kirby Burger, Energy Drink, and Tomato. Waddle Deliveries, we bring presents to your door, just enter a present code you find, and we'll ship the related presents, drop them by your house. There are a few present codes hidden right here in town, see if you can find them. Some present codes are shared through online announcements, we can hop online to claim those. I hid a present code on the wall of the house across from us. Check out the wall to find it. Um, what were the ones from the demo? It was clear demo and new adventure. Okay. I wish the Switch controller had a microphone. I could just shout clear demo into it. No, this is wrong code! It really should have the cap locks on. Caps locks on by default. Game is bad. Something is written on this wall. Let's see. First password. Is this a hidden present code? Is 
300 star coins. You got 300 star coins. Now pick them up. I hope there's furniture for Kirby's house. I don't know why I want that, but I wouldn't mind that. New adventure. Her bussy is definitely not a code that would work. Kirby microsite. Here's a here's a cool password. Thank you, Square Enix. Every 20 minutes. You have to enter that in the password screen. Well, Infernax also was using a password system, which was kind of fun. It was more like cheat codes. And there were some good ones, too. Even the Konami code worked. It's all star coins. There's going to be a password up here, isn't there? No? Uh, what about this? When you use an evolved copy ability, I grow a bit stronger too. My spirit will power up to match the evolution level of your copy abilities. Try it out in co-op mode. Glad I can keep up with- ah, Glad I can keep up with you out there, Kirby. Kind of makes me feel like a real hero, you know? And a human bean. Actual bean people, by the way. Game news apparently works too. Uh, next time, let me uh, let me get going. I think the game auto saves. So, all right. Well, the game is fun. I'm very impressed. Kirby did a good, a good. It's a nice transition from 2D to 3D. It's a fun game. It has a lot of collectibles. The abilities are good in 3D. And it's a very easy, natural, like, progression from uh, the previous game to this one. And honestly, it's exactly what Kirby needed. I think uh, I'm kind of curious to see where it goes and if it continues to go that way. But so far, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. So yeah, Kirby. Very nice. I'll probably stream more of it at some point, um, and I'll see you probably early next week. I won't be around this weekend. I'm just going to take the weekend to relax, and then uh, maybe next week, I don't know what day, but I'll do another stream. That said, of course, you can expect another long Elden Ring, and also Core Keeper. So there will be stuff that you can watch. Goodbye. See you soon. And uh, have a good weekend, everybody. And if you haven't watched it, the uh, tabletop simulator has actually been uploaded. Bye.
Bye, pussy. Hi, Willie.